Nobody with functioning mouthware goes about to remove it just to put metallic grills in as an implant. But you know what you got to do to keep the elites happy? You got to either keep them on their toes with you or you got to do what they say. He sold himself to the devil a long time ago. Now, many of you know me, and you may not, some of you may, but for those of you that do, you remember that I was a little bit different about three years ago. Now, three years ago, I had a surgery. The surgery was necessary for me to continue living the way I was living at all. If I wanted to even live, I had to have the surgery. And when I initially had it, it was very problematic. It was, it was smooth for the surgery, but the aftermath was a little bit tough to deal with. And that surgery was a complete overhaul of my smile. And people might think that's so that's not something that you need. It is when you can't eat. You see, for me, I could not consume food. Everything was like an impossibility. Liquids was all I could handle. So I had to get everything removed and put some brand new stuff in. But that was out of necessity. The individual we're going to talk about today, man, alive, when you see this, I, I believe that 007 and James Bond was a real thing after this. Memberships to Too Strong are available now. In case you all were missing it, we now have the ability for you who follow Too Strong to sign up for a membership program. The details and the link is in the description below. What do you get with membership? You get early access to all of our content. Plus, plus, you get to support Too Strong in a way that no one else can. And knowing that your funds are going to help people see the light. So without it, please make sure you go down into that description. Check it out. Sign up. Get it, help us get on the way and get ahead in this game. We look forward to seeing you. Now, Kanye went ahead and did something. And when you see this, y'all gonna be floored. Take a look. Kanye West stunned fans with a solid titanium mouthpiece that he indicated was inspired by the James Bond villain, Jaws. Ye left followers alarmed after debuting the look on his Instagram story. Now, like I said earlier, I myself had to have a surgery done to do something akin to what Kanye did. His is a little bit more drastic. That's cosmetic. Now, for me, nothing was wrong with Kanye's smile before. But you know what you got to do to keep the elites happy? You got to either keep them on their toes with you or you got to do what they say. I don't know, I'm not sure which one this one is, but it's, it's definitely not normal. Nobody with functioning mouthwear goes about to remove it just to put metallic grills in as an implant who does that and why why would you what is what, okay what is wrong with the other ones i can tell you here's my downside to having what i have as wonderful as i think they are because i can eat again your taste completely changes your voice completely changes how you speak completely changes if you could do certain things before you can't do them anymore and you have to relearn a whole bunch of it's a pain if I didn't have to, I wouldn't have. What possesses a man to have do it out of no necessity at all? I can tell you what that is. You see, when people are un discontented with life, discontented with their lot, unhappy with how their life is going, they do crazy stuff like this. Kanye is not, I don't know what the word is. He's not, uh, uh, this is not an unknown thing for him to do. It's normal for him to be doing crazy stuff. Look at the boots. You remember the boots? Okay. You remember the jacket in that one film that he did? Everything Kanye does is outlandish. Just look at his, uh, his clothing line. You get to wear tattered clothes like a homeless person and pay $5,000 for a shirt. Something ain't right up there. Also something ain't right here. So the two are now starting to line up. You're starting to see the manifestation of one very big thing. A lost individual who has sold their soul and has no concept anymore of what reality is. That's Kanye, in a nutshell. So then anything he does after this point, while it may per contain some truth to it, every lie will be having some sort of a trace of truth to it. Some lies will use only truth because they're trying to sell you on the bigger picture. Kanye has come up with all kinds of truth bombs. Remember? Hey, this is what Hollywood doing. This is what the Jew doing. This is what that one doing, man. And everyone's like, yeah. Tell him, Kanye, man, I have given up. I've turned my black back on black culture. Yes. Y'all remember that one? And then the next five minutes, 
Yes, I love rap music at the Black Culture. <laughs> Look, if Kanye was a tailor, you would have one of the most complicated outfits ever. You'd have one of the collars up here and one like this. Then you'd have a sleeve short and a sleeve long and one of the sleeves blue, the other one purple. And he'd tell you, that's fashion, man. And then when you tell him, this ain't fashion, were you blind? And then he'd look at you, it's creativity. Now that'd be $10,000. That, that's the kind of bamboozling he's pulled. And that's pretty much how his brain functions anymore. Because he sold himself to the devil a long time ago. Long time ago. And you can't help but do it when you dabble in the field he's doing. It. You can't help it. For all the people that say, well, maybe there's hope. Maybe there's, there's only one way for him to recover from this ever. To get out of this. And that is to fully turn to God. I don't know that's going to happen. I'm not saying it won't. I'm just saying I don't see how. Because he's already tried to make himself to be God. How does one pull back from that one? How do you pull back from naming yourself Jesus? I just want to know how you do that. Because if you can, yeah, you're going to pull it off, I guess. Look, we're only talking about this because a lot of people are going to look at him and try to copy. And in the copying, you have to do what he does. He knows this. And he's going to push to you the concept and idea that you are indeed godlike. He believes it. He doesn't just know about God. He doesn't. He knows in his own mind that he can persuade other people to think that they are indeed God because he himself has thought of himself that way. Now, people might think of this as a gimmick. Oh, that's so stupid. Why would you put your teeth out and put in these grills? That's so silly. It's more than just silly. There is a goal towards the end here for him. And that goal is to persuade other people to think like he does, to put themselves in a bigger position than they really are. And the end thereof is destruction. These people know exactly what they're doing, especially Kanye. Don't let him sell you on the, I was you know, brainwashed or I'm doing too many meds or don't let him sell you on this. This is a purposeful act. And this is something he's trying to drag as many as he can with him to where he's going. And he knows exactly where he's headed to right now. I'm not going to say, make sure you pray for Kanye. Pray for yourself to not follow right now. How about that? Pray for yourself to not follow and drop into these nonsensical ways of doing things and living. You follow God. And let God deal with Kanye. Because apparently Kanye has enough guts to go at God full bore. He's already got God's attention. Trust me. Now God going to deal with him in time. Trust and believe that. He does not let this kind of stuff slide. But as for you, your job is to straighten up and fly right before God gets a smackdown laid on you. Because once that happens, I don't think there'll be any getting up for you. Learn your lesson now before it's too late.